Welcome to this short video lesson on taking and cropping screenshots in Windows. This will allow you to quickly capture what's on your screen and then do a quick edit in Paint to select only the content you want. In this tutorial, you only need two basic tools, a PC equipped with the Windows operating system and Microsoft Paint. This lesson will be broken down into three parts, using the print screen function, editing and cropping in Paint, and saving your work for later use. Let's get started, shall we? Part 1 is really basic. It involves a rundown of how to capture what's on your screen. First, configure your screen so that it's displaying the content you wish to capture. In my case, I'm just going to want to take an image of my desktop. You might want to capture specific processes or a step in a procedure, but it could be anything really. Next, hit the small key to the right of F12 on your keyboard, labeled PRTSC or Print Screen. Alternatively, or if you're having a hard time finding the print screen button on your keyboard, you can always hit Windows, the Windows search key and type in on-screen keyboard. This will bring up an interactive virtual keyboard that appears on your screen that substitutes for the, the physical keyboard on your machine. Find the PRTSCN button on the right hand side of the keyboard and click once. All right. Now it is time to paste and crop the content we captured in part one. Open Microsoft Paint. Next, hold down the control key and tap the V key once. This should paste the screenshot into the Paint workspace. The next step is to select the content you wish to include from the image. Click on the rectangle select icon from the controls bar at the top of the interface. Click and drag the rectangular frame around the part of the image you want to keep and let go when you are done. Finally, click on the Crop option from the toolbar. This will remove all content not included in your selection frame. Hopefully, you will be left with the result that you are satisfied with. The final stage will allow us to save our image as a file on the computer. This can then be used in whatever project we wish. Click File, then Save or Save As. Find a folder to save the image in and an appropriate file name. Pick a file format. In my case, I'm going to pick JPEG. Now hit Save. The image is now ready to use in any project you need. Congratulations! You are now finished with this tutorial and you should now be able to apply this skill to any application that you need. Best of luck in future explorations with image editing that you may have. Feel free to subscribe to my channel to get more videos like this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.